What's up guys, it's Jerry from Awkward Gaming bringing you a different kind of Xenoverse video. Now, a while back, Keyshawn Lockett wanted me to do an Unlock Potential build for Key Blasters. But the thing about Unlock Potential is that it's the only move in the game that can be slapped on any character regardless of stat, race, or build. That's why, Unlock Potential is my absolute favorite move in the entire game. Now I know a lot of other YouTubers have already covered this topic months ago, but at the very least, I can maybe inform you on some of the details they might have missed. So by this time we all know that Unlock Potential comes from DLC Pack 3, which was inspired from the Dragon Ball Z movie Fukatsu no F, or Resurrection of F, whatever, names don't really matter, but anyway, uh, it comes from training with Elder Kai when you reach level 93. But anyway, you're probably wondering what the stats are for this transformation. Well, here it is. As you can see, it's a 9% boost to all of your attacking stats, and around a 5% boost to your speed and defenses. So, how does that compare to the other transformations? Well, according to this Steam website, Super Saiyan gives plus 2 to basic attack, plus 1 to Key Blast shots, plus 2 to Strike Supers, and plus 1 to Key Blast Supers. Now, Super Saiyan 2 gives 5% to basic attacks, 2% to key shots, 5% to strike supers, and 2% to key blast supers. Super Vegeta 1 gives 1% to basic attacks, 3% to key blast shots, 1% to strike supers, and 3% to key blast supers. Super Vegeta 2 gives 2% to basic attacks, 5% to key blast shots, 2% to strike supers, and 5% to key blast supers. Now, because of that, Depending on whether you're a Key Blaster or a Striker, you're going to use one or the other version of Super Saiyan. But regardless of that, Unlock Potential is already better than Super Saiyan. The only thing that Super Saiyan has over Unlock Potential is that infinite use of Key, which kind of runs out pretty fast if you don't know how to use it. It can also be used only by Saiyans. I mean, go figure. The worst part is, it encourages people to spam, and oh my god, do I hate spammers just so annoying to deal with. Now, on the other hand, Kaioken can be used by pretty much everybody. Yay! So, here are the stats for Kaioken. It's a lot easier to understand than Super Saiyan, but anyway, Kaioken, the first one, gives a 10% boost to all stats, Kaioken times 3 is a 15% to all stats, and Kaioken times 20 is a 15% to all stats with zero use of stamina, and what that means you have infinite use of your stamina, yay. Now the only downside to that transformation is that it runs on stamina, and stamina is pretty hard to maintain in the game. And the higher the Kaioken is, the faster your stamina burns, and the game relies on stamina crazy hard. So yeah, Kaioken times 20 does give you infinite use of the stat vanishes and the evasive moves, but that also encourages spammers. That's a pretty unfair move, especially if you know what you're doing. Hell, my first class build on the channel, which I'm going to link to in the description, going to be at the bottom, is a Kaioken spammer. So not only is Unlock Potential the most balanced transformation, it is also the most stable one in the game, and it's super fair. Plus, it's pretty much how transformation should be in the game. Just a power-up, no gimmicks. By this time, everyone knows that the best Z-Soul for unlock potential is Guess We Should Fuse Into Vegito. It adds a 2-3% to boost to all of your stats, in addition to the 9% boost you already get from the transformation. When you add a Fighting Pose, it stacks even further, the best Fighting Pose is being Final Pose and Mock Dash, because they're both evasive moves and they don't take up a super slot. But let's look at some of the other Z-Souls that work really well with this transformation. So the first Z-Soul I want to show off is let me show you my evolved self, which is actually Golden Freeze's Z-Soul. This Z-Soul lets you auto-regen your key, and when you combine it with Unlock Potential, it means that the transformation never runs out because your key regenerates faster than the transformation depletes it. Oh Jerry, I don't really know what it means. Well, it means that the Z-Soul makes it so that the transformation never runs out. You can have it for the entire battle. I mean, look at that. This is a Frieza race character. And his key is not running out at all. Like, he can have the transformation forever. Even when I put it down to zero. Look at that. It doesn't really ever go away. The second Zizel is Go Beyond the Limit! The Limit, I say! Which is from Elder Kai. You get him after you've complete the unlock potential. So chances are you probably have this Zizel already. This one is really good for team matches because it heals your teammates while you're transformed. And it revives fallen allies crazy fast. And if you add a fighting pose, 
the healing rate is even faster. The third and fourth Zisol are Time to Go Super Saiyan and Can I Be Just Like You, which are Trunks and Goten Zisol. They both kind of do the same thing, where they both reduce the damage you receive and it activates Auto Guard when you transform. This also includes Unlock Potential, obviously, or Kaioken. They're basically the same thing, the only difference is that one is for Strike Supers and the other one is for Key Blast Supers, so you choose the one that's best for you. Next up, it's a Z-Soul that we use pretty often here on the channel, mostly for the Kaioken builds, but it's like a Super Saiyan bargain sale. It extends the duration of your transformation and your stamina bar recovery rate is faster while you're transformed. This is good for players who have a hard time keeping their stamina rate up, so with this, it'll probably compensate for that and help you do extra damage. As you see here, the Z-Soul definitely makes the transformation last longer at the bottom than it does without it at the top. Finally, the last Z-Soul is Get Serious, Would You? Which is like a mini version of Guess We Should Fuse Into Vegito. It's not as strong, but the perk that this has over Guess We Should Fuse Into Vegito is that it has zero stat reduction. So that's always nice to have. Regardless of which Z-Soul you pick, you should pick the one that fits your playstyle the best. One thing I should mention though is that if you're an Earthling, your key regenerates automatically, letting you maintain the transformation for the entire fight without the need of any z -Soul. The only way you can lose the transformation is if your opponent uses moves like Drain Charge, Hyper Drain, or Bluff Kamehameha. And finally, for those wondering what build is best for unlock potential, the answer is... Any build, really. Seriously, any build is good with this transformation. Just slap it on, Whatever moves you want, uh, just pick the right Z-Soul that fits your playstyle and you'll be good. There's really no secret to it. So by now you're probably wondering what the stats are on my personal character. I use this one the most often in almost every fight I do other than a class build or something special like that. And uh, well, let's just get straight to it. Um, he is the second tallest height and thinnest weight. And his attribute points are 50 in health, 10 in key. 90 in stamina, 50 in basic attack, and 100 in key blast supers. He is technically a hybrid, uh, earthling hybrid, uh, key, key attacks and basic attacks. Uh, here are his equipment. Uh, top is Vegito's clothes because I want that uh, key or the, the key increase and the key blast supers increase. Uh, I have the time patroller's pants because I need that stamina boost and the basic attack. The Strike Supers, it gets negated from the top one, and so does the Key Blast Super, but it's okay. Uh, Beerus Close, because it gives me Basic and Key Blast, which is amazing. I'm not too keen on the health decrease, but you know, you gotta take it, you know, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. And I don't like the Key Decrease either, but it's whatever. And I also got Beerus Shoes as well, so when you put the whole outfit together, it kinda balances out. Um, that's why I have the 10 points in key. With 10 points in key, I have exactly uh, 4 bars of key, which is great, even with the guess we should fuse into Vegito Z Soul. So it's all good. Um, let's see what else. The moves that I use um, are moves that I've picked out personally because they work really well with my playstyle. A Tyrant Lancer, the Dasher Lance you see me use all the time, which is where I dash, kick, and then immediately go into this move. Bobby abuses it, but you know, I taught it to him. Uh, then there's God Destruction's Wrath, really good when I chain it with uh, the Grapple Slash, is, you know, the Shining Slash, or no, Grappling and then Shining Slashing. And same thing with Evil Explosion, I usually chain these two together. Unlock Potential, of course, it's my absolute favorite move, and it works well with pretty much any build. I have Super Kamehameha, because I honestly, just because I like the move, it's the signature Dragon Ball Z move, it's like one of my favorites. And then I also have Final Pose, because it helps me with Guess We Should Fuse Into Vegito. Uh, even though I am using Guess We Should Fuse Into Vegito, uh, all the other Z-Souls I told in the video or recommended are pretty good too, if you're not using a human, uh, like an Arkesian or a Namekian, which I've shown off before. And that's about it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if there's anything I missed about Unlock Potential, any extra z -Souls, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to check out some of our older videos, Minecraft, Dragon Ball Z Universe, and we also got Naruto now, thanks to him here. And uh, check out some of our even earlier videos, like some of the other weird games we've done. And, uh, I don't know, check out our Twitter at twitter.com slash goawkwardgaming. 
but I guess that's it. So unlock potential, great build. Uh, here's my personal build. Usually I'd leave off with like me fighting Eric or Amir or something, but I've fought with this character so many times it's kind of redundant. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.